Hello and welcome to the first vet update for season three of Fast TV. It's Highland Show Week, so I hope many of you are getting ready to, to go through to celebrate the best of farming and to meet up with old friends. It has been hot for, for weeks now and it's taking its toll on us and it's taking our, its toll on our, our livestock as, as well. One of the most important things to remember in the hot weather is to ensure that, that all your livestock have got access to plentiful, clean drinking water. In recent weeks, we've had reports of cattle showing perhaps neurological type signs, so circling or being a bit wobbly on their feet or perhaps appearing blind. And we're suspicious that this could be due to water deprivation. And water deprivation means that, that cattle can suffer from salt toxicity. This you can then be if these cattle then go and drink lots of water, they can then take too much water on board, which causes their brains to swell and cause more neurological signs. So do be alert to that and, and we need to, to, to prevent this from happening in the first place by ensuring they've got a constant access to water. It's not just water deprivation or water toxicity that can cause these neurological signs. So we've also had cases of lead poisoning in recent weeks. Very often this will be from a discarded car battery that's, that's in a field that cattle have had access to. But again, this can, can present as blindness, perhaps seizures, perhaps sudden deaths. So if you are getting these signs, please do make sure that you get your vet involved so that we get the right diagnosis. In the heat, feed intakes will be down as well, and this will cause issues in, in many animals. It will affect growth rates, but in, in dairy cows in particular, it can cause lots of problems with transition cow management. So a decrease in feed intakes will increase metabolic diseases associated with transition cows. So we've been seeing increased incidence of milk fever, of ketosis and displaced abomasums. In suckler herds, we're seeing outbreaks of pneumonia in suckled calves at grass, which again we think are likely to be related to, to heat stress affecting these calves. In some cases, it might be that there's been a previous episode of pneumonia, particularly in calves that were born inside, might have had old pneumonia lesions that have now flared up in the hot weather. Or in other calves, it might be that immunosuppression is leading to, to an increased risk of pneumonia. So if there are trace element deficiencies or if there's tick-borne fever causing immunosuppression, these can make calves more prone to, to pneumonia. Lungworm can be a cause of calves coughing at grass. It's probably a little bit early in the season for that, but in the coming weeks, this could become more of a concern. So again, get your vet involved so that we can ensure that we know what the, the reason for the coughing is and get the right treatment and prevention in place. Do take care if you're needing to, to handle sheep in this hot weather. Clearly it's, it's best to avoid the hottest parts of the day and, and, and work early in the morning or, or later in the evening so that it's cooler. This is for you and for the sheep and, and obviously for your, for your dogs as well. In this hot weather, fly strike can be a real concern. So speak to your vet about the best way to prevent that or to treat it if it's necessary. Lambs that are scouring are going to be more at risk of, of fly strike and we have seen many outbreaks of diarrhoea due to nematodiris in the last few weeks. Nematodiris can hatch when the, when the warm weather comes and so in many parts of Scotland the peak hatch is over but in some parts of, of Scotland, particularly further north, the peak hatch is still to come so do be alert to that. Nematodiris can present as sudden deaths in lambs but there are other causes of sudden death that we see at this time of year. So we've had outbreaks of clostridial disease such as pulpy kidney particularly in lambs that haven't been vaccinated yet or indeed if their, their mothers haven't had vaccination so that they've got protection from their, their mother's colostrum. So thank you for listening. We'll, we'll see you next month. I hope the weather holds but that we get a little bit more rain to cool us down and to, to let the grass grow.